there, YouTube. Blator Awesome here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Omega. In the last part, we took down Victory Road and got here to the Pokemon League. And we can now fly here, I think. Um, yes we can. But we're not doing that today, because we are going to Vermilion City. Why, you may ask? Uh, there's one more thing that I want to do before fighting the Elite Four. Um, also, real quick, I want to apologize for there not being, for the last episode not going up yesterday, and instead, hopefully these will go up next to each other. Uh, my internet here is a poop, and so yeah, that's, that, that's about it. <laughs> um, I tried to upload the video twice, and it didn't work, and then I got annoyed, and stopped trying. Um, but what I'm going to do here is something that isn't in the regular games, because in the regular games you don't have a national dex right away, uh, and I'm just going to super speed my way through these routes because they're annoying! Okay, I can get away from all the... Thank you! Um... Now, you'll notice that I brought Krabby with me instead of Red Eyes. That's because Krabby has Strength and Rock Smash. Need Rock Smash here. Here. Um. And. In here. The Vault Sanctuary. You will find. A legendary Pokemon! Well, actually, right now it's just a weird looking Pokemon. Um, but this area is not in the main is is not in fire red leaf green uh it's a fire red omega addition and um addition did i say edition uh, whatever um but yeah today we'll be covering the three legendary beasts dogs cats gerbils whatever you want to call them i've always called them dogs but they're the three they're the uh legendary trio of the johto region um, you can actually get them as soon as you have Sabrina's badge and can come to the islands. Um, so, yeah, you can do that. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Or what was I doing? Oh, right, yeah. But before you fight them, as always with the legendary, save first. Just because. Um, now, I will be going and fighting each one of these three in this video. Um, this will be kind of tough because it means I can't, like, just... Oh, wait, no, I did this last time, too. Never mind, whatever. Um. Whoa. That's some cool music. Like, really cool. Um, now, my strategy for this, or for these fights, is going to be Lock On and Zap Cabinet. Why? Paralysis. And then I'll just have Ponygon, like, weaken them. And that doesn't kill you, right? Yeah, it doesn't kill you. And then I chuck Ultra Balls. Yep. Pretty much the same as every other legendary fight ever. Um. Oh, wow! <laughs> Four balls! Yes! This Pokemon races across the land while barking a cry that sounds like crashing thunder. I didn't even have time to rate you, Raikou! Oh my god! Anyway, uh, Raikou is the legendary. I'm gonna call them dogs because I've always done that. And feel free to call him whatever you want. Um, he's the legendary dog of thunder, lightning. He's an electric type. Um, he's really fast and he has good special attack. But I've actually used all three of these in game. Um, just like pretty much every other Pokemon ever. Um, and Raikou is the first legend I'm gonna rate that does not get a 10 out of 10 in game. He gets a 9 out of 10 simply because he dies a lot. Like, really easily. He's a really good electric type. Um, but he's not as good as Zapdos. Like, he's not as good as the other legendary electric type. And I'm saving because, wow, I caught him quick. Um, and Ponygon barely got hurt. Wow. Okay. Um, so that was the first legendary dog, which was way easier than I was expecting. Um, the next one is up here on Mount Ember. I'm just gonna push these out of the way, and then get annoyed by wilds, and then see that there's a cave there that isn't normally there, and that you need Rock Smash to reach, and... Really? 
This is the... Hold on. This is the... Flame Sanctuary! So, there's three legendaries. One's electric, one's water, one's fire. Guess what's here? Yeah, the other one. The fire one. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'll actually try to rate this one first. Rawr, 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 rawr. Yeah, this music is actually really neat. Um, this is the legendary dog of Fire Entei. Um, all three of these dogs you find at level 50. And I'm gonna lock on and zap cannon. And side beam. And side beam. Oh, poop. No! Hold on. Okay, take two. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I showed how many takes it was for the birds, but yeah, legendaries, they can take a while. Quite a while. Um, that time you didn't die. Excellent. Um, oh, whoops. Go into my Ultra Balls. Gonna try to catch this guy. Use next Pokemon. Yes. Bolt, go in there and wall him forever. Um,. But yeah, Entei here uh, is the weakest of the legendary dogs, definitely. he Pure fire isn't the best type in the world. Um, he doesn't have fantastic stats because his best is his attack, and he doesn't have any... Oh! Well, you went down pretty easy, too! He's a Pokemon that races across the land and is said that one is born every time a new volcano appears, which is kind of cool. Uh, but Entei gets the lowest rating of any legendary Pokemon for me. Uh, he gets an 8 out of 10 for in-game use because... He's basically just Arcanine. Like, I haven't seen it. I've used them both, and they're pretty much exactly the same. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, now, I'm flying here to Two Island because... Let me just check. I have 18 Ultra Balls left, considering I caught those two and 12 combined. I think I'll be okay. Um... The last legendary Pokemon is supposedly up here on Cape Brink. Oh! No, it's down there. There it is. Um, now, we've already covered electric and fire, so... The Aqua Sanctuary... Where re This place is so cool, it's snowing! I've never actually been here before. Um, in my text file, in my test file, I only caught Raikou because I actually used him on my team. Um, because I hadn't used a Raikou in a while and I wanted to. So this place is amazing. Just look at this thing. It's awesome. And of course, it has the best of the legendary dogs. I don't even think there's much, like, talk or debate about this. This is Suicune. Suicune is a pure water type. The first... Yeah, the first water type legendary. Um, and he's really good. Um, let's see here. Zap Cannon is super effective and has 100 base power, and it didn't. It, it did half damage, but that's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> um, Ponygon here is higher leveled, and they're pretty much the same. They're tanks uh, with good special attack, and Pure Water is a good enough typing for a defensive type, obviously. Like, I mean, Bolt. Um,. But Suicune is a fantastic Pokemon. He's... I actually consider him the best in-game water type. Uh, even a little bit better than Blastoise, but since he's a legend and most people don't use legends, you know. Um, but anyway, he gets a 10 out of 10 in-game from me. Um, I'm not going to catch this thing, am I? <laughs> Bolts, be amazing. No, I said be amazing. That's not amazing, Bolt. Please oh, shoot. <sighs> uh, netball! Especially while on water, no. Great balls, go! Uh, I always have the toughest time catching Suicune. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's just because he's really good. Maybe it's because I can never get him too low in the red, because, uh, yeah, 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 shoot. <sighs> I'll be right back. Okay! Train number two on the Suicune! Um, let's just zap cannon in it, and then actually, let's see how much try attack does. Ooh, that did better! Um, yeah, so basically, 
the three legendary dogs, Raikou gets a 9 out of 10, Entei gets an 8 out of 10, and Tweekun gets the perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, at least, in my opinion, in-game. Um, actually, in the metagame, it would be Suicune would still be really good, Raikou would still be good, and Entei, Entei is not. Yes! Caught ya! Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, this Pokemon races across the land and it said that North Winds will somehow blow whenever it appears. Uh, Suicune is... Suicune is actually the only one of any legendary trio that has its own game. Suicune was the cover Pokemon in Pokemon Crystal. Um, so he kind of is unique in that way. Um, and that actually does it. I just caught all three legendary dogs. That's fantastic. Um, and now I'm going to move stuff because I want Red Eyes back because I don't need Krabby anymore. I'm just going to put him there. Then I'm going to... Um, now, huh, because see, what I had planned was actually to just do one video with this, but I like to have all my guys in order because I'm crazy like that. Because it looks cool, I mean, it's like all the legends, yay. Um, those are actually all the legendaries you can get pre-Elite 4 in this game, so, yeah. Um, let's see what you have to sell. Whoa! You got stuff at a discount! Well, no, you have Ultra Balls at a discount, but that's cool. And you sell Soda Pop and Fresh Water, so this guy's actually got some good stuff. Um, but what I was going to do was just cut it, but I think instead... Um, see, now the only thing I have left to do is take on the Elite Four at the Indigo Plateau, which I will be doing next time. But my team is not yet ready. Um, not, not even close, really. Um, so I'm going to show you what I typically do before an Elite Four run. Um, I, as you may have been able to tell so far, do not use my HMs too often. Um, or at all, really. Uh, or my TMs, I'm sorry. Um, but that's because I always save them for when I know what my movesets are going to be, which is right before the Elite Four. Um, I make sure that everybody has the moveset I want, and that I have the TMs I want, and stuff like that. Uh, just so I don't waste any TMs that are only like one... Like, you know, you only get them once. But now, I have decided... Um, I know what moves I want on all of my guys. For example, Ponygon. No longer going to have the lock-on zap cannon strategy because I haven't really used it much. Um, I kept it around mainly for the legendary dog catches. He's instead going to have Toxic and Thunderbolt, actually. Um, Solar Beam is going to go to Red Eyes. Um, a lot of people don't do that. Uh, what am I getting rid of? I'm getting rid of Feint Attack because I haven't had Accuracy Drops, really, and I like Bites Flinching. Um, a lot of people don't actually, like... Oh, shoot, I can't do that yet, can I? Nope, nope, I can't. Um, they don't show this part, so it's just like a skip, but I decided to be a bit different and actually show you everything I do in preparation. Um, I'm going to the Move Deleter here because Ned is for getting cut. Um, yeah, Ned needed Cut to get through the game, and he'll actually eventually get that back, but for now, no. Um, so the reason I'm in Celadon is this is the place where you can buy TMs. Um, actually, this is the place where you can buy TMs. Uh, as you can see, there's Dig, Brick Break, Attract, Secret Power. I'm going to be buying one Brick Break because I already had one, didn't I? Oh, well. Um... Yeah, Ned's getting Brick Break. He is also getting Giga Drain. Because even though his special attack stinks, um, he needs a Grass-type move. He doesn't have one, and yeah. And Brick Break is instead of Mock Punch, because Mock Punch just doesn't have the power anymore, and Ned now needs power. Um, other additions. <laughs> Earthquake is going on Billy Bob, because, well, um, he kind of needs it. Uh, and he has terrible special attack. Return! Also going to Billy Bob. Um, 
just because I I really like Return and 65 accuracy has not been cutting it for me uh, with Billy Bob, and he's one of my best physical attackers, and it just makes sense. Um, oh, that's right. I was thinking of no, no, no. Should I? Oh yeah, and I'm giving in Psychic to Ponygon. I don't know if he would learn it naturally, but I need Psychic on him, so... Whatever. Um, <laughs> and the only other changes I'm going to make are... Um, well, first of all, I'm also going to get money um, by selling all the things that I don't need. Um, like these nuggets and sometimes I sell my elemental stones sometimes I don't I don't think I will this time I don't need this stuff because I never use it anyway big pearl you sell carbos you sell card spec you sell and yeah that'll do it um, and the reason I need money is because I am going to be buying things here. Uh, as you can see, you can exchange your coins for prizes here, and I want a TM24 and a TM13. That's 160,000 polka dollars. Um, <laughs> so what I have to do is buy up all the coins so that I have 8,000 of them, and I'll pause until I'm done with that. Okay, now I have the 8,000 polka dollar or the 8,000 coins I need, which didn't actually cost 160,000. No, not you. <laughs> you don't need that guy by accident. I want a TM Ice Beam, a TM 13 for Ice Beam, and a TM 24 for Thunderbolt. Um, these are going to Thunderbolt is going to Ponygon because it's better than Zap Cannon, um, and because there are plenty of water types in the Elite Four, um, and then Ice Beam is going to Bolt. Because it's a lot better than Icy Wind, honestly. Um, I would actually like to get another Ice Beam and teach it to Ponygon instead of Tri Attack, but I decided I might as well just. His attack is usable, so I'll use it. Uh, he has Giga Drain just in case I have, like, any. Really, just in case I have any ground and water types. Uh, Captain Zapsmoo said is fine. Now Bolts is good. Uh, I like having Dig and Bite on him. I would prefer to have both Earthquake, but Earthquake uh, is a lot more valuable on Billy Bob, who now has a very good moveset. Um, and Red Eyes now just has Solar Beam, just in case. You never know. Um, so that's how I do all my moveset prepping um, for an Elite Four run. Uh, and then I do my shopping here. Uh, oh, wait. I need to make this more dramatic. This is the inside of the Indigo Plateau. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a Pokemon Center. There's this guy who says Agatha's Ghost-type Pokemon are horrifically terrifying in toughness. Took my fighting types and raised them to the max, and then she whooped you. And, yeah. Um, ghosts do really well against fighting types is the message there. Um... Lance has a cousin who's a gym leader far away. These people will basically tell you who the Elite Four is. Uh, this is the same champ of the making guy. He's just like, yeah, you can do this. Go for it. And this guy sells you things. Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot the prices of Ultra Balls were lowered anyway. <gasps> Moo -moo milk's for sale? Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'll buy 30 of those. Sure, why not? And then revives, I always like to have 40 going in, and then hyper potions, I'll... actually, hmm, well, I need at least 20, but let me just check my guy's stats, yeah, I need hyper potions over, um, moo moo milks, they're just better. And then full restores, I always like to go in with 20 of those. So as you can see, I'm out of money. Uh, oh wow, you can buy ethers? Or ethers? Nice additions, Triano. I really like those. Um, so, as you can see, I tend to stockpile money through the game, and then, well, use it all up here.
Um, <laughs> it's, it's what I've been doing for years. I find that it really works because you don't have to grind as much because you have so many items and that just makes things easier. Uh, where are those? Oh, I have 20 fresh waters? Where did those come from? Whatever. Um, 30 moo moo melts. You got me plenty of healing. I, I need more revives. Um, <laughs> yeah, I never actually use this many items. I'm just going to have 60 revives because why not? Yeah, I never actually use this many healing items, but I like to have them. Um, and, oh, I am going to be grinding off screen. I'm going to get everybody up to 60 before uh, taking on the Elite Four. So that is my recommendation. Um, you can also just overgrind, get everybody to like 65, and then you won't need so many items. But as you know, I like to fight things when underleveled and spamming items forever. So anyway, uh, that does it for this part. In the next episode, we will be taking on the Elite Four. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I will see you next time.